Hello everyone, my name is Adam, although you may know me on Game Banana as Salty Spittoon, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to give any character or any fighter in Smash 4 the witch time effect that you may have seen as some of my mods over at GameBanana.com, or there will be a link in the description. What it is, is it's very... it's simple to do. It's just a matter of knowing what is where. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up Smash Command, which is your basic moveset editor. If you don't have this installed, then there will be a link in the description. So once you've launched this, you should be greeted by an empty workspace, an empty window, whatever. What we need to do to load up the character's moveset is get their files extracted. So to get these files, we want to load up Smash 4 Explorer, which anyone who wants to get into Smash 4 modding should already have. I have two. One is for my basic, all of my mods, so my basic modding. And the other is the one I use for testing, hence it's called Testing Smash 4 Explorer. So the difference between the two is, this one, or my main one, has my workspace folder, which has all of my mods in here, and lots, and just lots of mods. So that can take a while to load up, time to build the mod. So hence, I recommend you get a Testing Smash 4 Explorer, because basically it's an empty workspace folder, and you can do everything just much quicker. So once we load this up, which shouldn't take too long, Now that it's loaded, we want to go through this directory, data, we then want to go to fighter, then we want to find the folder captain, because Captain Falcon's name in the data files is just captain. Also, if you're doing this for any other character, be aware as to what their name could be, because some might have their Japanese names. For example, Bowser is now Cooper, Corin is now Kamui, and I'm trying to think who else has a Japanese name, a lot of them do, uh, Villager is Mur Murabito or Murabito, however you want to pronounce it. So, but we want Captain Falcon, so we want Captain. We then want to expand this tab. We can now see a, bu a bunch of other folders. There's Camera, Effect, Model, Motion, Script, and Sound. We want to right-click on Motion and click Extract. And then we want to do the same for Script. Now we have these two files, as you should see in your window here. We then want to go back into Smash 4 Command. We want to go to File, Open, when it wants to load for me, Fighter. We then want to go to our extract folder of our Smash Explorer, which is right here. Data, Fighter, the name of your fighter, Script, and MCMD, and Highlight Body, select the folder. Now on the right, you should see ACMD in your workspace. Expand it, and you'll see a bunch of letters and numbers which we can't understand. To make this comprehensible, we're going to go to Tools, Pass Animations, go back into the Fighter folder, then we want to click motion and select that folder. Now this should be much more comprehensible. Because I'm editing the taunts, they are under appeal, which is just here. We'll open these up later when we know where we want the slowdown effect to take place during the taunt. After all, this is a script, so it could be before or after an animation or a sound. As we can see here, Falcon's up taunt consists of him squatting while producing fire. To make the slowdown seem realistic, Almost as though it up tilt is now a move that Captain Falcon has. It makes the most sense to put the slowdown just before the squat animation, to look as though Falcon's squat activated the slowdown. As for Captain Falcon's side taunt, Falcon jumps to a pose and extends his hand before saying the iconic line, Come on. The seemingly best place to put the end of the slowdown effect before they go flying is after the voice line. Now that we know where the witch time script is going, we can add it in. To do this, let's start with the up taunt. So we want to head to appeal high R, double click it to open it, and appeal high L, double click it to open it. We then want to go to the expression tab, get our code, which or the line of script, which I have here and in the description below. We want to copy it, and then we want to find just whereabouts it's being placed. We already said we place it after the animation, so the asynchronous time of frames, which is 76, should be just below it. This is the amount of frames before Captain Falcon can act again after doing the taunt, so it would make the most sense to put it here on line 4. Then we do the same for high R. Except I did that wrong. Then we want to hit save and exit that tab save and exit that tab. 
That will mean that when you next close them, it will apply for when you save the final thing. We then want to head over to appeal side R and appeal side L and do the same, except this time with a different taunt. We already established after the voice line is when Captain Falcon's switch time effect would stop. So we want to get the, cut the line for that and we want to find just whereabouts to put it. The most sense would be to just put under script end or above script end as this would just seem the easiest place. I don't know, I don't really, really bother studying this or not. And likewise we'll do save, close, save, close. Now we want to press save as, we want to go to any anywhere you want basically. I'm going to put it in a move set editor file. I'm going to make a new folder, which time falcon. Then I'm going to make a new folder called body, as this is where this will be dragged into Smash Explorer. Select the folder and it has saved and that's it. Now we can go back into Smash Explorer to insert this. So now that we're back into Smash Explorer, we can install the mod. So we want to go to the folder where we saved what we just did, or the body folder. We can then get this out, and you can see there's five files here. We then want to go back into Data, Fighter, the Captain folder, or the fighter name, depending on who you're doing, Script, and MCND, and you'll notice the body folder. There are two ways of installing this. What you can do is drag the body folder into AnimCMD and it will automatically install. However, I'm a bit more pedantic like that. I like to just drag them into the body folder so I know that they're definitely in the right place. And with that, we've installed the mod. Now all we have to do is rebuild the mod and install it onto our SD card. <laughs> Now that it's done, all we want to do is close Smash 4 Explorer, because we don't need this anymore. Then we want to go back to our Smash 4 Explorer folder, go to Export, Release, Content, and there is your patch file. This is what you need to load up mods on Smash 4, using the SD Caffeine method. I haven't used any other method. A common mistake I'm seeing people do is they're not taking the patch folder out of the Release Content folder. It won't work if you don't, so please, please do that. Anyway. That should now be the mod on your SD card and ready to boot. Thank you all so much for watching and if you want to see any more tutorials such as adding extra costumes, just adding costumes in general, voice files, leave a comment below and by all means stay tuned. Thank you for watching, goodbye.